how, how does somebody know if their job is uh, self-certifiable or qualifies to be self-certified? Is, is that something only, is that a database you have? In, in... No, so there are specific, so the city of Chicago has its, you know, um, list of the um, self-certification project qualification um, guidelines online. So you can go look it up and, or you can just ask the architect. Typically, if, if it's a, a single project related project, like in, I'm only working in one unit and I'm not working in any of the common areas, chances are it'll get qualified for the self-certification program. If you're working in any of the common areas or if you're working on multiple units together, I'm talking specifically about prehab, chances are it will not qualify because you're trying to do more than one unit. And in certain cases, if you're replicating the exact same building in multiple sites, that is an example, a good example for self-certification because the city has reviewed that project one time and all you're doing in the following address, different addresses is replicating the exact same design. So the city specifically wants you to use self-certification strictly for number one, a repetitive project or number two, the project is the scope of the project is so simple that uh, they trust an architect who's qualified under the program to do the right thing and meet building and zoning codes. Well, just building codes because every project will have to go through a zoning review, whether the architect is self-certified or not. So these are all things that you know you can easily have a conversation with any architect that you are trying to you know hire or talk to and they can help you with the process. This is one of the basic things that any architect will be able to like tell you right up front. 